Bijan Tagavi here, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to create chords from any scale. This is going to give you a holistic approach to your voicings. It's going to allow you to control textures. It's going to allow you to harmonize melodies. It's going to allow you to create movement, both in your writing and your comping. So this is a revolutionary concept once you understand it and can apply it. Okay. So let's start with Barry Harris's six diminished scale, which is otherwise known as the bebop scale. I'm sure if you're an intermediate player, we've all heard of this and harmonized you get something like this. Okay. Now, I'm sure you haven't heard of Barry Harris's made-up scale. So harmonized, his made-up scale sounds like this. So what's going on there? Both are actually using the same exact concept, which is if you take a scale and you start with a voicing structure built from that scale, all you have to do is move each voice by the next successive note in the scale. Did you follow what I said there? So you start with a voicing structure, then move each voice by the next successive note in the scale. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the six diminished scale for a moment. So the six diminished scale off C, right? So if we start with this voicing, then we move each voice by the next successive note in the scale. So G moves to A flat, E moves to F, A moves to B, C moves to D, right? A flat moves to A, F moves to G, B moves to C, D moves to E, right? so on. Now, with Barry Harris's made-up scale, it's the same thing. Now, what is his made-up scale? Uh, he showed this to me at a master class, and what he told me to do is he said, go, go up a chromatic scale, and he said, every time you land on E, jump up to G. Then he said, every time you land on B, jump up to D, and back down. Right? So that's the scale right there, chromatic scale, but every time you land on E, jump up to G. Every time you land on B, jump up to D. So if we start with this voicing again, we're going to move each voice by the next successive note in that scale, okay? So G moves up chromatically to A flat. E moves to G, right? Because it's chromatic, but when you land on E, jump up to the G, and when you land on B, jump up to D. So E goes up to G, right? Remember, we started here, G to A flat, E to G. A goes up to B flat, and C goes up to D flat, okay? Now, continuing on, A flat to A, G goes back down to F, B flat goes up to B, and D flat goes up to D. A goes up to B flat, F goes up to G flat. Now B, remember, goes up to D, and D goes up to E flat. B flat goes up to B, G flat goes up to G, D goes back down to C, E flat goes up to E, and so on. So what I want you to do is I'll play through those series of chords again, but this time let's highlight the tenor voice and notice how the tenor voice is going up successively in the scale. You can do that and on the PDF. You can go through each voice and you'll notice that each voice is moving up the next successive note in the scale. This same concept, you can apply this to any scale. You can make up any scale or take any scale, and if you want to create chords from it, all you have to do is take voicing structures and move each voice up the next successive note in the scale. Now, one place where I like to do this is dolphin dance. I just did a lesson on dolphin dance, and I'll put that in the card above my head if you want to check that out. And the intro is a vamp in this sort of uh, C major 7 sharp 4, this Lydian kind of sound. Right, so with the E pedal. So that's sort of the sound we're going for. So 
what we can do is we can create any voicing structure with, uh, with those notes, right? So we can just take the scale, right? We can create something really dense, right? We can create something kind of looser, right? right? It, could, it could be anything. It could be spacious, it can be tight, right? It can be a real cluster. Right? That's a structure right there, right? Uh, or, like I said, it doesn't have to be so mechanical either, right? It can be pretty spontaneous. So, this is how you're able to build it much more. holistic concept of voicings uh, by knowing what the underlying scale is of what you're playing. Because if you know what the underlying scale is, then you can create any chord to fit that moment. You can harmonize any melody. You can create uh, any kind of texture with your voicings, whether you want something dense, whether you want something tight, whether you want something spacious. Um, where to have the density in the chord, right? Do you want the density to be in the bottom part of the voicing, right? And the top part to be more spacious that. Do you want the top part to be more dense, the bottom part to be more spacious? Do you want the whole thing to be filled up? Okay. Now another place where I utilize this is in my tune New Reality. So I was writing this tune and I was arranging it for jazz orchestra and I was really struggling to harmonize the melody because the whole A section was just using this one sound, this major 7, sharp 4, sharp 5. So I was just using this one sound for the entire section, and I had this melody, right, over a C major 7, sharp 4, sharp 5, right, and just based on the standard jazz voicings, I didn't know how to harmonize this. I knew I had my 3rd and 7th, but then, you know, I didn't know how to harmonize, right, I just chromatically, right, so I didn't have anything I can go to. And he showed me, he said, well, what's the underlying scale? And the underlying scale is a C major, sharp four, sharp five, right? So you could take any voicing structure in that, you could start with this. Right? Then all you gotta do is move that voicing structure around within the scale. Right? And again, it could be any structure, that's just one possible, right? If you want it to be more dense, anything. And that's really the beauty of this. Whatever the underlying scale is, you can create voicings based off that, right? Um, so have a lot of fun with this. If you want the PDF for this lesson, see the link in the description below. But once you understand this concept, this will really revolutionize your playing because you'll have a whole palette of sounds that you didn't have before, okay? But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. There will be lots more coming your way. Or if you want the full experience, I go much more in depth with these concepts in my personalized video correspondence lessons. To come on board, shoot me an email. We can set up a free Zoom assessment. I can tell you all about it. I'm going to link two videos here that you may find useful. One is to my lesson on dolphin dance, and another one is to my tune New Reality, where you can hear this voicing concept in context. Until next time.